Max Verstappen peaked his opening practice at the Dutch Grand Prix with an hour's run, showing that Aston Martin was sort of rebounding. Fernando Alonso claimed that with a second-place finish at Zandvoort, he recaptured some of Silverstone team's form that has led to six podiums since the first eight races of year. This saw him beat third-place Lewis Hamilton. But his best lap was compromised in the final third of the session as Nico Hülkenberg got a red flag. The first laps saw a mix of hard and medium rubber rubber on a track that wasn't too happy with the track action support. As a result, it was dusty and slippery, with a breeze blowing down the front. Ferrari had approved Robert Schwarzman step in to replace Carlos Sainz, who was the first reserve driver race this season's race weekend, as required by the rules like two Red Bull drivers who took the field after first run. He was initially fitted with a set of hard compound tires. That lasted until George Russell was the fastest. But times were pointless on the dusty Zandvoort circuit. Times were still two seconds behind Russell's time set in the same session last year, indicating a lack of grip on the track. Scuderia Alpha Tauri was using the session to evaluate upgrades to its vehicle. Yuki Tsunoda had a significant aerodynamic tilt in his vehicle, while the team evaluated the new rear wing on Lando Norris' car. McLaren had Lando Norris' car fitted with a slightly thinner slope. Lance Stroll had been in the garage for 20 minutes before hitting the track. His tenure was short. Just two laps before the team called him in with a problem. An unusual sounding Canadian acknowledged. While boxing, Verstappen had the fastest lap of 113.191 seconds. He was in second place. More than half a second ahead of Hamilton. While Alfa Romeo Sauber's Valtteri Bottas was third. 0.03 seconds slower than his former Mercedes teammate. Red Bull was looking at airflow in the side pods of all conquering RB19. Midway through the session, Logan Sargent had his Williams fitted with a set of soft tires, becoming the first driver to switch to red walled rubber. He finished sixth on start of the run and topped timeline with a margin of 0.3 seconds. This triggered others to start participating in simulations. Sergio Perez was the most important of those involved in first trade. Predictably, Mexican rider was fastest with a time of 112,439. This time was 0.7 seconds faster than his teammate could achieve on hard tires at start of session. After the holding lap. Sargent's second effort was 0.1 seconds away from Perez. But third, Albon was faster. Just 0.008 seconds from the peak. A mistake by Nico Hülkenberg caused Haas driver to go off-road to raise red flag at penultimate corner. It was left facing backwards on gravel. Its right front against the barrier. And car looked otherwise undamaged. The rear end was ahead of the newly contracted German, performing a 180-degree performance with relatively light contact with the Barry.